What is up guys and welcome back to Rams TV. So for today we have yet another Mortal Kombat 1 leak video and for today's video we seem to have gotten all the DLC slots leaked for Mortal Kombat 1. But anyway before we get into any of that, like always make sure to smash the subscribe button if you haven't already. So with that being said let's get right into the video. Alright guys, so uh, typically I, I actually don't post videos on the weekend, however there have been so many leaks coming out for Mortal Kombat 1, which is expected, you know, anytime a game, a new game gets announced, leaks start pouring out, like, l from left, right, up, down, like, just everywhere you're gonna be getting leaks coming through. Now, keep in mind, like I will say, these leaks could be real or could be fake, so take all of this with a grain of salt. I just cover whatever I find online, just for entertainment purposes and for speculation, which I love to do. So with that being said, let's go ahead, let's go ahead and get into today's leak. So today's leak comes from the Nintendo store, I believe, and I'm gonna just go ahead and post it up right now. So as you can see here, it looks like we have gotten all the DLC slots leaked. And uh, what this means is basically, or essentially just showing us the amount of DLC we're gonna get. Now, as you can see, it goes from DLC 1 all the way to DLC 12, meaning that we should be getting 12 characters a DLC, which I'm not going to lie, isn't too crazy considering that in Mortal Kombat uh, 11, we kind of got 13, so we kind of got a little more in MK11. If you're wondering who I'm talking about, uh, Combat Pack 1 was 6 characters, Aftermath was 3 characters, Combat Pack 2 was 3 characters, so that's already 12 right there, and then we got pre-order uh shao khan dlc so that's uh a, of course a dlc that you get when you pre-order it so that's the 13th character now i don't know if this uh if these 12 slots in mk1 include a pre-order dlc or if this is subject to change uh it should be subject to change i mean the game comes out in like four months so it's not really that far away either but i do believe anything that is shown before the game's release is subject to change so don't get your hopes down I don't think we're getting only 12 DLC characters. I think we should be getting a little bit more. Uh, also, for anyone who sees uh, underneath where it says DLC and then the number, it says estimated release date, December 31st, 2023. So what that is, is just a placeholder, meaning that they put the last day of the year just to hold uh, th that spot. And then whenever they know exactly when it'll come out, they'll put the correct date. So yeah, that December 31st of 2023 is just a, a placeholder. So it's not actually coming out on New Year's Eve. But um, yeah, guys, so far, it looks like 12 DLC. Not too bad. I mean, they could split that up just like they did with MK11. One combat pack with six. Uh, and then two other some smaller packs with three characters each. Which is, you know, any, any DLC is awesome. For me, even if we got 10 DLC... Uh, you know, I'll accept it. Uh, at least at least we're getting 12 right off the bat. Like I said, this is subject to change. So it could go up to 13, 14, 15. Who knows? But anyway, guys, let me know your thoughts and opinions on this in the comment section down below. Anyways, uh, besides that, make sure to smash that subscribe if you haven't already. I uh, hope you have a great Sunday. Thank you all for watching and peace.